Whee! That man with the code. <laughs> and that, my friends, concludes Warwick Half Marathon in a time of. And yes, that was Warwick Half Marathon concluding my first week of 12 training towards London Marathon 2023, this coming April. So be sure to watch this video all the way through to the very end where you'll find out and discover my finish time, but also you may spot yourself in the footage, whether it be during the race itself or the before and after as well, because I did get about and meet so many of you. It's wonderful to see so many of you before, during, and after the race. And it was a day of PBs for many of you. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you're at this particular event, did you take part? How did you get on? And also, if you are new, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that alarm bell, because it really does help this channel be discovered across YouTube land and reach to lovely people like you and me. Because as I mentioned, it was great bumping into so many of you with nearly 2,000 runners taking part in this event. This is like the first big half marathon that I've taken part in this year. And yes, it was fabulous, immaculately organized by Run Through UK. There was a minor technicality, which you'll see in the video footage. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, <laughs> yes, but hey, sometimes we have to queue up, don't we? Yes, <laughs> I know. And as I mentioned, it was amazing. So many of you getting PBs on the day, which are a very, very undulating course, shall we say, across the countryside in Warwickshire. It is a fabulous part of the world. Shakespeare's County, no less. After last week's race at the Stratford, not the Roman Nine, yes, Stratford-upon-Avon, home of the Bard. So Warwick is a town not far from Stratford-upon-Avon and is the county town of Warwickshire. For me, this was a training run. As I say, it concluded my first weeks of training, first week of 12 for London Marathon training. So the first eight kilometers, I went out at easy long run effort. And then the remaining part was at marathon pace effort. So I always use the word effort because it's not a flat course. So running at a particular pace would not be a true indicator of particular efforts. So I was going by heart rate. I had set the heart rate zones for myself based on what I'd ran at the uh, Stratford, not the Roman nine. So I know my maximum heart rate based my heart rate efforts on that. If you see my future upcoming training videos, I'll talk about the heart rates that I train at and you'll see more about that. So please do subscribe, thumbs up, all that jazz. Yeah. So without further ado, let's take you into the race day video, which was a bit rushed for me because I had a, um, I say, a bit of a traumatic night, lack of sleep and some health issues. But hey, I'm not looking for some uh, sympathy or anything like that. I may be publishing a video of what's been going on for the past sort of four odd weeks. It's, it's not good, but hey, we, I am here. I, I feel fit and healthy, but I am seeing my GP tomorrow to see what's going on or maybe not going on. But hey, that'll be for another video. As I say, I'm not looking for sympathy or condolences or anything like that, but life goes on, as we say. So be sure to watch all the way through. You may spot yourself in that uh, race day footage and I'll see you at the end where I'll give a little bit of a conclusion of how much I really did enjoy that day and meeting you guys. Let's go. Good morning, folks. Welcome to a bitterly cold county town of Warwick. And I'm here at Warwick Racecourse for the Warwick Half Marathon. So without further ado, let's go. <laughs> Okay, I've got my bib number 3143. 3143. Um, I've been desperately trying to find a loo somewhere and uh, there's either queues or, um, shall we just say, there's a few blockage issues. <laughs> you might hear the music. Yes, there is actually live music here. The uh, finish.
finish line. Here will be the finish line. Here's the medals. But I need to go and find somewhere to uh, do the proverbial dump. Let's see what I can find. It does say toilets here, but I don't know. Uh, toilets. So let's get back here and see if I can uh, finally do my dump. So the toilet stop has finally been done, but hey, you know, when you're queuing and you're waiting forever, you then sort of lose the will to, ooh, have, you, have you sort of lost that feeling? But anyway, maybe some of you can relate to that. Maybe you don't, but hey, let's get to the van, get changed, put the bib on, because it's only about 20 minutes ago to race start. <laughs> Back in the van, time to get changed. Yes, I have, um, Quite a lot to get ready, so it's now uh, quarter to nine, 15 minutes to the start. So I've got to quickly get changed, get me bib on. I haven't even got me bib on my shirt yet. Let's, uh, let's move, move, move. So now out of the van, time to warm up. And this is where I might realize, oh, am I, considering the type of run I'm doing, training run, not race, have I got enough clothes on? I hope so. Whilst I'm still doing my warm-up heading to the start, I may have mentioned, certainly I mentioned it on the uh, weekly Mar London Marathon update, which you really need to check, is that today's run is a training run where the first eight-ish kilometres long run, pace, speed, effort, and, uh, and then after that, the last sort of 13k, We'll be at marathon pace. Yes. So I'm now here at the start. You can see they're all getting ready to go. Beautiful countryside. Hello, Mum. Slightly undulating clears. Some hills that you're going to absolutely smash on this course today. And then we've got the finish line. Of How, are you How are you doing? Ready to go? The last 2k, slightly downhill. You'll be doing it. Third one. Third one. <laughs> Take care. Anyway, enjoy. Thank you. Right, let's get ready to rumble. I might stand here with the court jester. Hey, why? It's not, it's not a joke. Why? Uh, I was. I need another layer. It's the only one I had. So. Uh, enjoy. Oh, hello. So I'm now in the thick of it here. You can see the start behind me. So there's a sea of people behind me. There's a sea of people in front of me here. Already. <laughs> Say hello, Mum. <laughs> right. Turn around so I know which way I am going. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. We're literally just waiting for the start gun to go off. So here I am with running with you know Andy. Oh no! Oh, hey, hey. Oh, hey. How are you doing? Are you ready to go? I'm ready to rock and roll. You your jazzy Adidas. I know. Takuni Sen Mega 28.25 Superfly. And the man with the barefoot. How, what were you got on your Invincibles? Invincibles. So this is like the trilogy of from one to another. Wooden bricks to Superfly to Mega Fly. Yeah, good man. Are you feeling you good? Yeah, yeah. It's a bit rushed getting here. Yeah. But hey, I'm here. We're ready to go. Yeah. Right, here we go. Ready for the lift off. I'm ready for take off. You'll make it. It's a bit of a funnel to get through here. So I'm going to start me watch now just so I don't miss anything. Come on, guys, you've got this. You can go and wait the finish line with that medal. Right. Here we go! Here we go! 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 Warwick Half Marathon! First race of the year! Let's get it done. 
And as you may have heard, Andy in the background there saying it's his first race of the year. This is number three for me, mate. Oh, Come wow. on. He's stacking them up already. Although, uh, as, as we said, we're not racing here. So, yeah. uh, in fact, last week was one with Stratford, not the Roman Nine. Right, we have the sun behind me, so camera off and let's get moving. Right, enjoy the night. I'll let you and you, Andy. Take care, mate. Have a good one, mate. Okay, one mile in and I'm beginning to warm up nicely. So one of the concerns, maybe because it's so bitterly cold that uh, my gear not in race speed would not be warm enough, but we're okay, we're doing good. And the, uh, for those interested, I'm racing in the Nike Invincible 2. So not your regular race day shoes, but then I'm not doing a regular race day. So a couple of miles in, settling into the stride of this particular pace. So checking now and again on the heart rate that I'm not over egging it at this early stage. And uh, yeah, it's just really nice. Glorious sunshine, a bit nippy, you can feel the nippiness. But yeah, this is nice. Just past mile four, feeling good, but still at the uh, easy long run pace. Not picked up yet, so uh, let's keep going in this glorious sunshine. Glorious Warwickshire countryside here, I tell you. Quite a feeling seeing just this sea of runners in the distance. And we're all running along in unison. Okay, just coming to mile five and my watch has bleeped. There you go. Mile five and my watch has bleeped. Get to marathon pace. So I'm now in the heart rate zone for marathon pace. Yes. So maybe semi racing. Let's get to it. Thanks for coming out guys. Well done, keep going. Well done. Thank you everybody. Well Thank, you. Thank you. Is this a special Jelly kind of yes. drug? Yes. Well, I don't know what this is, but I might take it. Whew. Nice aid station there. Picked up a gel. We're ready to go. Another one of those cheeky hills, up and down, up and down. Just past mile seven. Oh, that hill did take it out of me there. Not trying to go too fast because the heart rate will shoot up. Remember, today's all about effort, not pace. And here we have another cheer squad.
There we go. As you can imagine on such an undulating course, and I'm running to effort heart rate, the pace is all over the place. I think one of my kilometers was around 410, 413, and one just now 435. But I'm not worried about that. It's just putting the effort in and see how I feel. Hey. Hello, hey. Mum. Hey. <laughs> Lots of happy people. Thank you, fans. Thank you, fans. Autographs later. Oh, my fans are out today. Oh, yes. I do believe I can see someone dressed as a cone. Traffic cone. Not an ice cream cone. Well that man with a cone. <laughs> yes. There you go. Man dressed as a traffic cone. When you're running up a hill and then you come to the name of a village sign which says Hampton on the hill just to reinforce you're on a hill as this man here is chuckling along with me you feeling the hill it's a good hill this isn't it coming up to the 12 mile marker So literally 1.1 mile to go. Let's take this home. We're now coming into the finish straight. Come on, see ya! And that, my friends, concludes Warwick Half Marathon in a time of... Well done, mate. Well done. Thanks, buddy. Stop work. I know this man. YouTube. Watch him. Oh. Ah. oh, that was fun. So you want to know the time? It was 1.35 something or other. I don't know what the official time was, but put it in the description below. Time to get some food and drink in. <laughs> well, there you go. It was, uh, I say, 1.35 and a half many seconds. Might have been under because I did start the watch earlier. Super happy with that. I've got quite a stash here of goodies from the finish line. Let me just uh, save my time. And... Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, hello. Look who's here. I've Rachel just sat just out there, I was looking for running with Andy and uh, Hannah goes, is that him down there with a the camera? I said, no, that's the Dato. <laughs> so back at the van and yes, quite a, oh, look at this medal. Quite a chunky medal this, isn't it? Yes, really nice. So I'm going to get changed, disrobe and then head back down and have a chat with some of the other runners down there. Here I am and this man stopped me, says, well done tonight. How are you feeling? Like, obviously I don't recognise him. He's got sunglasses, <laughs> he's got that. This is Manny's rip. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? Feeling rich? Yeah, feeling great. Healthy? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Did you enjoy the race? I loved yeah? it, absolutely loved it. Perfect yeah. weather, it was a bit hilly, but it was, yeah, loved it. I liked it. Uh, you're very optimistic. You said it was a bit hilly. <laughs> it was hilly as... <laughs> but no, well done. Feeling Excellent. good? Are yeah, you training great. for a specific race? Uh, no, but this is the first run I've done. I did the London last last year, so yeah. this is the first run I've done since then. So right, trying right. to sort of get back on the horse well, a bit. Excellent, excellent. Well, good to so, see you, Rich. And you too. you'll be seeing yourself on the channel I here. I look forward to it. Yeah, I love the channel, mate. Keep up Thank the good you. work. Cheers. Great uh, to meet you. So I'm back here in the thick of it. Let's head 
head over to the live music stand. Well, yeah, but you can go on. You can do the official photos here also with the run through kit behind you waving saying hey I look really good yes so you can get nice official photos here is that the final countdown playing in the background I think it is so here I am with two amazing runners who finish, as you can see a man here in best athletics gear with his Saucony Pro 3 how are you doing? Oh, I'm feeling ecstatic. I got a sub two. Sub Commercial. two PB. Six weeks of marathon training. I've got PB. So As we were saying earlier, getting a PB on this course. This is a hilly course, isn't it? Yeah, very, yeah it's very. Very. <laughs> Hilly as. Yeah. So to get a PB on that, get you on a flat course, you'll be flying around Manchester. Yeah. I hope so. I hope so. Just keep keep it easy. Keep it steady. Are you doing Manchester as well? I'm not, no, I've got, um, I've got a trail marathon, that's my next oh, thing. Even so, harder. Yeah, in May, so that'll be... Well, here I am on the finishing straight of the uh, Warwick Half Marathon. All I can say is what a fantastic event this was. Yeah, minor logistics with the uh, toilet, shall we say. But, uh, <laughs> hey, what a day. Great to see so many of you out on today's course and also at the beginning and the finish and so on and so forth. Absolutely loved it. I would highly recommend it. And it's great seeing you. It just goes to show, you know, when you do the training, you can get PBs on this course if you've done the training. Also, what level you're at. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe and all that jazz. And look forward to seeing you at the next session and video update, which will probably be... As you saw, I mean, what an epic, epic event it was live music loved it loved the live music and the musicians waving to camera that was all unscripted seeing the organizers there and yes there was a bit of an issue for me with the queuing and the uh, toilet but hey you know who was to know maybe you know because i was a bit rushed that morning and a bit stressed as well of what been going on through that night the, these things happened but i still got out there completed it in an epic time as you would have seen in the uh, description below 135 1 hour 35 and what was it 12 13 seconds i feel amazing for that being competitive i did feel a bit um held back frustrated because i needed to stick to the training and when you're at a race event for me i want to race but i didn't and uh, so that left me <laughs> a little disappointed um missing out on first place for v60 category by only 40 seconds so if i had punched in a little bit quicker on a couple of kilometers i would have come in first but hey you know it wasn't a race for me it was a training run and i need to stick to the training because the goal is london marathon if you've been following my videos for a while you will know what goal i'm going for i don't need to spell it out for you or do i uh, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you at the next week's training and what's happening and also two weeks will be the Hereford 10 miler which again will be a training run for me so I'm not going to be racing that all out. So if you're going to be at the Hereford 10 miler I look forward to seeing you there and also in terms of future races the Knighton 20 20 miler that I'll be taking part in Again, a training run and the Droitwich Half Marathon, which again will be a training run. The Chester 10K, that's another matter. I haven't decided what to do yet for that particular race because that will be my England Masters first 10K representative race. Can't wait, can't wait. Yes, the excitement. Let's keep it going, guys. Thank you so much for your support. I look forward to seeing you next video, which will be hopefully the subscriber of the year awards yes i know my inaugural subscriber of the year awards beautiful people like you because i think we need to reward loyalty for those who've been on this channel for many many years watching me how i've progressed from an okay charity runner to now being at masters elite level i know it's quite incredible really i know let's go because i will be wittering on here for quite a while thank you so much for watching
Really appreciate your support. Bye, bye, bye. Mwah. Stay super. <laughs>